Regulatory challenges such as the Retail Distribution Review, RDR, set to transform the face of financial advice in the UK. We've been given a rare glimpse behind the scenes of investment firm North Investment Partners to assess the impact of structural change on financial services and see firsthand how fund managers are responding. I'm here to meet CEO John Husseby and hear more about ways in which fund management companies are changing their proposition in order to cater for the new rules and regulations facing their clients, the UK's army of financial advisors. John, let's start with hearing your views on the overall structural changes, the Retail Distribution Review, or RDR as it's widely called, uh, that will bring to the market. Yes, RDR is a once in a generational type change. You know, for me, it's like putting a, a giant cat amongst the pigeons. It's going to have implications for clients, the advisors, and also the, uh, the providers of investment as well. What RDR really means at the, at the end of the day is what the FSA want, what the regulator wants, is a greater outcomes for the consumer, for the client. That means transparency, transparency of charges. In the future, charges will be split between advice and investment advice. They want greater clarity. They want uh, better communication. Really, what they want is the client to know what they're getting and what they're paying for. Transparency, protection for the consumer, this all sounds such a positive. But the pressure that these regulatory changes put upon financial advisors are enormous. Have investment firms truly understood what's, what's being placed upon them? We think so. Uh, we've seen discretionary managers develop tools for the intermediary, for the advisory business, to help with their clients, be they asset allocation models, risk profiling, fund ratings, tools that help the uh, advisory business with the client to get the right outcome. What I mean by the right outcome, the right outcome in terms of their performance expectations, in terms of their expectations around service. One thing's for sure is there's no one size fits all. And uh, discretionary managers, I think, have recognised that and are working very hard with the intermediaries. What are the major changes investment firms should be making right now? Well, the focus has to be on client outcomes. That's what RDR is all about. So the uh, construction and the delivery of tools to help uh, assist that. So whether that's these asset allocation models, whether it's the risk profiling, the fund ratings, all of these are being developed and there's a, a number of new uh, discretionary managers coming into the market. I think there's also going to be pressure on pricing and there's going to be a squeeze on margins. As the transparency comes out and as clients understand what they're getting for, what price they're paying, then there will be a squeeze and that squeeze will be, be placed upon the, the fund providers in particular as they will have to offer greater returns for less and less cost. Anne McMeehan, Director of Cauldron PR, throws a spotlight on the regulatory reasoning behind RDR. The consumer is at the forefront. This is all about consumer protection and arguably the financial services industry hasn't exactly been giving itself the perfect reputation over recent years. And it is time, the FSA believes, that the industry gets its act together and really puts the consumer first and provides a more transparent service, a more appropriate service for the client. Now, as far as the fund management industry, 95% of its business has been done over the last 10 years through intermediaries of some description. And it's this relationship with the consumer that the industry needs to ensure is uh, absolutely clear. The intermediary has hitherto largely earned its money via commission, but that is coming to a complete end and it's going to be a fee-based relationship. Now this means that a lot of people are going to perhaps reconsider how it is they obtain the services of the fund management industry. Some will start to think that they would rather do it themselves and maybe with the online services that are in existence nowadays they will increasingly start to make their own decisions certainly amongst the younger generation. It's not to imply that the financial advisor won't have a role. Increasingly, they will have an even more important role, certainly as people accumulate wealth over time. But it is a state of change. What I don't perceive, though, is that RDR is suddenly going to be a big bang revolution. It's going to be an evolution that will take place over a number of years. 
What's your vision for the future of investment services? Well, clearly RDR brings about a greater focus on client outcomes, which is good. Perhaps in the past, the focus has been too much on performance and almost performance at any cost, at any price, at any risk. I think the industry will respond to that. And I think the tools that we've talked about in terms of asset allocation tools and risk profiling and fund rating type of tools will help the client at the end of the day to understand the risk he is taking or she is taking when investing. There's got to be a cost to the industry with all of this, hasn't there? There is going to be a significant cost, a significant cost to uh, change business models and redevelop systems as well. But it's not all going to come overnight. If you just think of the internet back in the late 90s, we thought it was going to change our lives you know, within a couple of years. It really is only in the last couple of years that things have been changing in terms of business models on the, on the high street. And that's the same with RDR. Nothing's going to happen in linear fashion. It's going to happen in rolling waves over the next five to ten years. John Hustleby, Chief Executive Officer of North Investment Partners, thank you very much for talking with us. My pleasure.